Right, I just thought I'd show the install. I'm putting another welder on. That's how they come. All the electronics for them and the delicate wiring are inside this tube, which is a good idea. But it means you've got to drill a 12mm hole in the baseboard. I think the knock version of the welders have a separate um, electronics board, which you've got to position under the baseboard somewhere which means you only have to drill a small hole in the baseboard on the Weissman it's a bigger hole so I mean it doesn't bother me uh, keeps them safe and that you can always fill it in afterwards so using a Bosch uh, cordless um, drill with a 12 millimeter bit in now I'm gonna put this particular welder in Welding a gate there, just welding this gate next to the truck. The, the fence or window frame, metal frame, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be leaning up against this truck. And I'm going to drill a hole close by. So that's what I'm going to do now. There we go. So I'm going to put it there. Always look underneath your baseboard and make sure that there's no obstru obstructions. You know, I've extended this wire by quite a lot it's going to go to another digital decoder where the other one is uh, logged in on the other welder near the crane I'm just going to scrape back some of the gravel which is stuck down with PVA so it sits flush so it's all scraped back slight so this should sit quite a bit flush to the baseboard as possible we can get him in there a bit more I need a screwdriver and that's just to push it down a little bit in the centre there. That's it, perfect. So, he, all you need then is a bit of gravel around there. I'm going to put the uh, gate right about there. Leaning against the truck. That's it. So there's the decoder and make sure the switch is flicked over to K84 mode. Any accessories going in on K84 switch mode will enable them to light permanently. All I need to do now is add some gravel and wire him up. It's always good having a gravel yard on the layout. For whenever I need gravel because I've got tons of it there and there that's just one of the added bonuses of having a gravel yard <laughs> yeah, so there is wired up that's MIG welder number two and Obviously, so I've got two MIG welders set up now on the same decoder address. I've got that wind turbine there. And having them on addresses obviously means you can control them on the touch panel on the ECOS as well. As having them on a remote control device. There's the other turbine I've installed over there. That little uh, mountain outcrop thing. Might be a bit unrealistic the positioning of it, but this layout is not a realistic layout, so I don't care. So, there we go. Just a bit of a uh, bit of fun. A bit of something different. Right, so I've got two welders and the floodlights, which are working on one uh, accessory channel so with them in LEDs it's not a lot uh, of power draw through the decoder itself but I have a lot of accessories running off accessory decoders like the yard lights these big yard lights I've got here Got about five sets of them running off of lights. I've got the wind turbines, I've got various other lights 
all running through accessory decoders so in that case when you've got a lot of stuff or you're daisy chaining decoders from one to the other you need an external dedicated digital power supply for just powering the decoders which I've got which is underneath the ECOS and the one for that is I'll just show sorry about this sorry about the noise in the background is this one here I've got that one the lens it's a higher ampage I can't remember what ampage it is three point three I think it's a three amp Bear with me. Yeah, it's a three amp. It's a, so there's plenty of power there for anything that goes through the accessory decoders. So I've got one transformer there for controlling accessory decoders. That's the one for the ECOS. And then I've got another two transformers. I've got another transformer for just operating lighting. Actually, no, this is the bigger. This is the bigger one. I think that's a. Actually, no, that's the one for operating the, um, all the lighting on the layout, conventional lighting. And that one is for working the digital crane and the turntable. So, like all in all, I've got quite a few power supplies. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, and thanks for watching.